I'm Shafan Dix from IHM Bangalore and welcome to IHM Food Studio. Today we are going to make a spaghetti carbonara which is very very interesting dish and it's very very easy and delicious to make. So for that we require spaghetti, I blanched already till al dente stage, al dente means two tooth. When you bite the pasta we should feel a little bite. A bacon, salt, black pepper, parmesan cheese, egg yolk and parsley for garnish. Take the pan and we need to cook the bacon. I'm not using any kind of oil but if you wish you can use olive oil in that. Why? Because bacon will release the fat. I uh, will start with a hot pan in that we need to put bacon. You can hear that this will come. It should come. And we will to cook it. So actually the origin of this dish is from Italy. The literally there are so many stories behind the carbonara, the origin and the history. So it's come in existence around the late 80s and early 90s. And the carbonara, the literally means is charcoal burner, burner. So in Italian they call it carbonaro. So from that word it comes. So the story behind this, this pasta first made for the coal miners. And after that it comes in existence and now we have so many variation in that some chefs make with a yolk and mix with the cream, make laser and then they add it in that. But this, what I am showing you today is our authentic way. So you can see in the pan, fat is rendering out. Pork is a major ingredient, it's a one of the major ingredients in the carbonara. So I am using a smoked bacon here, pork meat. On the other hand, one nice portion of spaghetti. We need to blanch it again before we put it in the pan. This is a salty water already kept there, you can see. Break two eggs already, you can see, it's egg yolk only. And I will use along with some pepper. So I will add pepper. I am not adding salt at the beginning because the bacon is salty. You can see how much fat has already came out. So this is the reason I didn't use any oil. And just a little mix. One thing we need to make sure when we add egg in that the pan should not too hot otherwise it will get cooked and will not get that consistency which we require a fluid consistency of that sauce pasta in and sauce So I did add some pasta water in that and now away from flame. So what I am doing, I am mixing the parmesan cheese in the yolk. Uh, authentically we need to use pecorino but if you don't have you can use parmesan around 35 grams. mix 
sits nicely. starch in the water so it will help to dilute the yolk and mix properly among the pasta all over so you can see it's little soupy creamy and that's it before we put in the plate we need to check the seasoning for the seasoning one spring nicely and okay yeah a bit more pepper and now little salt and it's ready to plate Easy. Give some bacon. And on top. Wipe the sides. Crispy bacon, which I may have kept separately, and a little parmesan. So that is carbonara, a spaghetti carbonara.